All right, welcome back to 5-Minute Kerbal. We are going to build a rocket and go to orbit today. So here we go. The same as we always do, we're going to start with a Mark 1 command module with a parachute on top. And then we are going to put a stack decoupler. We are then going to grab a FLT-400 fuel tank and put an LV-909 engine underneath it. Another stack decoupler. This is the TR-18A, but I mean, there's only one for this size of engine. And then we're going to get the 800, the big tall fuel tank. Uh, let's see. We'll put some RV uh, AVR8 wings on it. Use the X key to do to do three times symmetry. Stack decoupler still with three times symmetry. On the bottom, we're going to put a LV T45 liquid fuel engine. This is the one with thrust vectoring. And then on the sides, we're going to put three solid rocket boosters. So let's check our staging. All right, we want all of the engines in the first stage. Then we destage those. Then we destage the middle part. Then the little engine, destage, and then the parachute at the very top. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go orbit. So we have to talk about a couple of things with orbit. Number one, everything in the world of Kerbal Space Program rotates towards 90 degrees, or maybe away from 90 degrees. It's hard to say. Who knows? Whatever. The point is, when we're up around 9 or 10 kilometers, we turn over towards 90 degrees, and that way we'll be going right while the planet is spinning underneath us to the left, and that means we'll get a speed boost making it easier to get to orbit. Number two is um, we want to make sure that we conserve fuel. So right now we're going to throttle down instead of up because we've got the solid rocket boosters. Those will help. And then we'll hit T to turn on stability control and we'll fire, fire the engines. So basically once these solid fuel boosters get down to about 10% yeah, or so, then we will go ahead and ditch them once they're empty and then throttle up our engine. Right now there's no point in running the liquid fuel engine. We're actually losing speed due to aerodynamic drag, but looks like our solid rocket boosters are about 10%, so I'll throttle up the liquid fueled engine, hit spacebar to ditch those, and now we are on our way. So once we hit about 9 or 10 kilometers, we're going to start tapping the D key a little bit. Tap, 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 tap. You can see how often I'm doing it by looking at the wings. Just tapping a little bit. What I'm aiming for here is halfway down the blue side of this nav ball. There's this ring right here. This is the 45 degrees down the blue side of the nav ball. And we are on the 90 degree line here, so longitudinally on 90 degrees on the nav ball. We don't want to get too far ahead of this marker here. This circle with the three lines going out you know, to the side and then one to the top with an open circle, that is our prograde marker. That is the vector that is the direction of our current travel. That's where we're headed. So there's more to come, but we're going to take a break right now and see you in a minute. 